Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat, coming up on Newsbreak. Remembering astronaut Michael Collins. Turns out glaciers are melting way faster than we thought. And is this the end of the world as we know it? Bird style. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Hit subscribe. Michael Collins has died at the age of 90. Back in 1969, he was the pilot of Apollo 11, and he orbited the moon while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their first steps on the lunar surface. It's why he's sometimes referred to as the forgotten astronaut, but today, he's anything but. The year is 1969, and Michael Collins is one of three astronauts about to make history. That's one small step for man. But this story isn't about that landing. It's about how, at the same time, Michael Collins was circling around the moon in the command module Columbia. That's the spaceship the crew travelled to the moon in. Once they got there, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin descended to the moon in the lunar lander called Eagle. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Michael Collins' job was to stay pilot in Columbia, so he could redock the craft when the others returned. He circled the moon alone for nearly 28 hours. And back then, people called him the loneliest man in history, but he didn't agree. I really enjoyed my time by myself instead of being terribly lonely. I was not, not one iota lonely. I had hot coffee, I had music if I wanted it. For the rest of his life, people asked him if he regretted being the only Apollo 11 crew member not to land on the moon, but always said he was perfectly satisfied with his role. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. Today, lots of people have paid tribute to the astronaut, including surviving Apollo 11 crew member Buzz Aldrin, and his family says they want people everywhere to help celebrate his incredible life. Scientists say nearly all of the world's glaciers are melting way faster than we first thought. The study looked at satellite images over the past 20 years of around 220,000 glaciers, and it found they're shrinking fast. No matter where we're looking, we're seeing fairly rapid mass loss. It seems to be increasing and there's not any indication that it's going to change soon. Scientists say climate change is to blame and it's causing sea levels to rise. Imagine getting lost 1,500 kilometres from home. Well, that happened to five turtles who washed up on a beach in Western Australia. But now, after a bit of extra help and care, they're home safe. This is Clive. Not that guy. This one. Ah, hi Clive. His story starts 18 months ago when a school class found him washed up on a beach in Bunbury. We were looking at all the litter. We were looking at the blue bottles and stuff like that, and we found Clive. I thought he was dead, but he wasn't dead. Scientists reckon the loggerhead turtle was swept up in strong currents at sea and carried in 1,500 k's away from his niggly habitat. Now that's a long way from home. Then the big storm fronts that come through in the autumn and winter months wash them in on shore. Clive's not the only one. Four other turtles washed up on the state's southwest coast. Since then, they've been getting lots of care at a turtle rehab centre. When they first come in, they're really, really sick. They're dehydrated. Now these little guys are getting tracking devices so we can follow their journey. If there are no turtles left, then the world won't be nice. Good luck, Clive. Ooh. Fancy finding that here. Which is mighty convenient too, because I wasn't expecting to find you here. Here, caught on camera, in the act, is a group of people stealing a life-sized cow sculpture. Why? We don't know. But it belongs to a hotel in Toowoomba, and they wanted it back, putting up a $1,000 reward for the safe return of Betsy the cow. Luckily, she was discovered in a paddock this morning and is now back at home. Now, I really like birds, but I would be very, very concerned if a bajillion of them descended upon my neighbourhood. Well, for these folks in Sydney, that's exactly what happened. Yellow helicopter, low resolution footage. If you guessed this was a rescue mission, you're right. But they're not rescuing people, no, they're rescuing a massive bull who's fallen 100 metres off the side of a cliff. That's a big fall. 
But after being airlifted, the bull's doing just fine and it's back home munching on grass and doing all kinds of other bull things. Well, that's all from us today. In the meantime, you know what to do. Hit subscribe before you click away. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, same place.